Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know this is quite a sight to see. The fir <laughs> this is quite a sight to see when you first enter a video, but today's look is obviously going to be on mermaid. Um, I chose like a very whimsical mermaidy look. Uh, you do not have to do all pink like I did, but I had this wig and I figured it'll work. So, if you want to know how I managed to get this beautiful, sparkly, pink look, then keep on watching. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> okay guys, to start off with this mermaid look, I'm going to do the same thing like I do with every makeup look. Um, I'm going to start with the Porefessional Primer by Benefit Cosmetics, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put it where I am most oily, which is mostly in my T-zone, but pretty much I am oily everywhere. Now that that is done, I am going to move on to my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick in Y215. And I'm literally going to smother this all over my face. I want to be paler then pale. Now that I look absolutely crazy, <laughs> I'm going to blend all this foundation out with my beauty blender. Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral, and this is my all-time favorite concealer ever because it literally covers up everything. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend this out again with my... quickly set both that foundation and concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And move on to the fun part. Obviously, I am not going to be contouring with the normal contour stuff. I'm going to be using eyeshadows and this lovely thing. I actually got this off of like um, some brushes that I recently bought. They were wrapped in this and I was like, oh my god, this would be perfect. So, this is what I'm using. I want to do a pink mermaid look and I haven't seen a lot of pink mermaid looks, so I am going to take one for the team and do it before everybody else does. I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and I am going to take the shade Flamingo, which is this one right here this hot pink I'm going to cover this small brush with it and I'm going to just take this netting here oh my god I'm so nervous I'm afraid it's gonna look like crap so I'm just gonna put it where I would normally contour and it's difficult to hold this at the same time but it's gonna have to I have to look at the camera then for this even though that's not exactly how it's doing anything Okay, so I made like small. This is so hard. Guys, this is so difficult. I'm making my life so difficult right now. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to do the same thing on my other cheek and I will be right back. So I went off camera and did both cheeks in front of a mirror. That way I could see what I was doing. Um, and so now, I am just going to move right into brows, just move them right along here. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel first to set my brows. I don't know if people normally do the brow gel first, but that's just how I always do it, and it just seems to work out better for me. Okay, now that that is done, I am not going to use a traditional brow color 
obviously. Um, I am going to use, don't know if I brought it with, yes I did. I'm going to use Ochre from the Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics um, because it's a very bright pink. And I'm just going to take the wand. Um, I'm going to take a brow brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of the product onto the brush. Like so. And then I'm just going to fill in my brows normally. Brows normally take an exceedingly um, ridiculous amount of time, so I'm just going to finish this up off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so the brows are done and I also decided I was going to add a few more scales on my face. And now we'll move into the fun stuff, which is the highlighting and the eyeshadow. I'm going to do the eyeshadow first, and the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Naked 3 palette, and I'm going to find a transition shade to use. I'm going to take Dust, and I'm going to take Limit, and I'm going to just put that a little bit higher in my crease than I normally would. Now that we have a transition shade, <laughs> I am going to go back in with my beauty cute. What is speaking? I don't. I'm going to go back in with my Huda Beauty palette, and I'm going to take Shy and a little bit of Flamingo, not much. The same colors that I used for the scales, and I am also going to blend that into my crease. for my brow bone. It's <laughs> a great description. So I am going to take, take my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette and use Forever Lit, put it right on my brow bone just to give it a nice, oh, you know what? No, no, not Forever Lit. I'm gonna use Kitty Cat. I'm actually gonna use Kitty Cat. Screw, screw Forever Lit. <laughs> Kitty Cat is pink. We're gonna, we want pink. This look is all about the pink. this look is that I want to glow. I want to glow for the gods. Obviously, this is not an everyday look. <laughs> Please do not go out in public like this unless you were going to a costume party. <laughs> I just thought since summer was here and mermaids are fitting for summer that I would do a mermaid inspired look. You know what? Screw it. You should go out. Go out like this. Show your mermaid pride because you spent a long time on this look. I'm also going to put a little bit... I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in Tahiti and I'm going to highlight my cheekbone right here. These highlighters are so bomb. They... I, I was like shook when I tried it the first time. Ready? Oh hi! So I'm gonna just douse myself in this. If you have a really, really sparkly and, you know, glow up highlighter, I would highly recommend using that for this look. Glowing for the gods is what I live for. I'm gonna take a bigger brush. I'm not sure why I'm using I love how I went, I switched from eyeshadow to, <laughs> to highlighter because I highlighted my brow bone and now I can't stop. I can't stop highlighting. I'm just gonna literally highlight everywhere. Highlight my nose. Highlight my lip. You guys, obviously, you don't have to douse yourself in as much highlighter as I am, but I just personally... It is a must. I feel like mermaids would be really sparkly anyway. So, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna bathe. I'm gonna bathe in it. So, now that my highlighting OCD has been satisfied. <laughs> I am going to go back into the eyes because I just seem to like skip right over that. I'm gonna go back in with the Naked 3 palette and use more, more like purpley shades. I'm using Buzz from this palette just to add some sparkle to the eyes. Not that 
that the whole look needs any more sparkle, but who am I kidding? You can never have enough sparkle. So douse your face in that sparkle. Do it. Do it. <laughs> no, um, don't let me peer pressure you, but seriously, do it. I want a sparkly lid. <laughs> of course I do. Why wouldn't I? So I am going to take the Huda Beauty palette again. This is my baby. I'm obsessed with it, as you may have noticed. And I am going to take a fluffy brush. And I'm going to just cover this brush in this shade Angelic right here. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. I forgot that with the Huda Beauty palette, it's actually much better to use your fingers. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the rose gold shade and put that on my lid since it's very sparkly. Now, this is the hard part. Feel free to skip this because it's not necessarily something you gotta do. I am going to go in with the strawberry cream liquid lipstick and I am going to use it as an eyeliner on my eye. So because this could possibly take a long time, I'm going to do it off camera. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back and the strawberry cream was actually way too similar to the eyeshadow I used. So I just went back in with Ochre from the Coco Collection and did the liner. Did the same thing I wanted it to do. So, okay. Now, I am going to douse my face in more sparkles, legitimately. I am going to take the NYS Loose Pigments in Vegas Baby. It is a beautiful, like, just glittery, neutral, like, white glitter shade. Um, and it, I think it's stunning. I don't like to use glue because I feel like it sticks just as well as if you did use it. Um, I know that NYX recommends that you use like a, um, a glitter glue. I just am a glitter whore. And I like me some sparkly stuff, so. So that is that. Now I have glitter literally everywhere. <laughs> The look is coming together, guys. So let's see, what else can we do? Oh, we have to do false eyelashes. Oh, hold the phone. We need to do falsies. It is not a mermaid look without some outrageous false lashes. These are the Noir Fairy Black Lashes from the House of Lashes. It's quite a fitting name since they sell eyelashes. I am just going to quickly put these babies on and I'm not sure how long this will take but we'll see so that is one insane eyelash done and I'm gonna do the other one off camera false lashes are on and now the final step is the lipstick so I'm gonna take strawberry cream which I originally wanted to use on my eyes but that didn't work out so we're gonna use it on the lips uh, so I'm just gonna line it, line my lips. And then over top of that, I am going to use um, a Lime Crime Diamond Crusher in Acid Fairy. I'm using a lot of fairy-ish products, I might as well be a fairy. We're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me. And I know I'm in a seashell bra because that's literally the only thing that I have that's mermaidy. But it works. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked, please hit the like button. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.